Vintage styling tip number six, and actually this is going to be a combination of some smaller tips that can make a big difference to selling and just to your ranking, your rating, you know, the reviews that people leave for you. First of all, before you put the effort in to list something, make sure it's allowed. Check what is and isn't allowed in Vinted. I've twice had things removed immediately. I've listed them because they were from the disallowed list. The first one, I can't remember what it was, but it was right at the beginning and I just hadn't taken the time to check if something was allowed or not. If there isn't an obvious category for it, that's a usually a good pointer that it's not allowed. The second thing was Christmas decorations, which was a shock to me because I have bought Christmas decorations on Vinted. So it didn't even cross my mind that they might not be allowed, but apparently certain ones aren't. So uh, be very careful. There's no point uploading it if they're going to take it down straight away. Secondly, if there is a parcel postage method that you particularly don't like, maybe, for example, the in-post uh, lockers are always full locally or you have to travel away to get to them, Put that on your description. Most buyers are going to be quite understanding about that uh, simply because if it's difficult for you to send it, then it's going to be slower for them to receive it. And also, if it's difficult for you to send it, you're going to give up really quickly. If you have to pay extra petrol or catch a bus to go and post something, it's probably going to suddenly realize you'll realize it's not worth your while. So uh, make sure it's clear to them what methods you prefer if that is the case. Uh, on the subject of posting, package things well. We've seen videos of funny postage packages for vintage stuff. It's fine if it's closed, it's not going to get damaged. Then, yeah, wrap it up in plastic bags and stick your sticker on as long as it's secure and it will get there. But if it's something that's likely to get bashed around and damaged, make sure it's well packaged. I love my local every package parcel shop they're lovely in there but things get piled on top of things I've seen things arrive and get thrown around a little bit make sure they know it's fragile as well if it is fragile and finally be a good seller treat people the way that you expect to be treated I have been uh, I requested a bundle somebody ended up blocking me if all I asked was I wanted to buy a bundle from them I guess they decided it was too much effort so they just blocked me I've bought items or requested bundles and have waited weeks for somebody to finally get back to me on whether they will sell it to me or not. In one case, that same person said yes, I paid. I then waited and waited and waited until it timed out and the sale never went through. So don't just cancel sales. Don't just leave people waiting. Be a kind seller.